Today, January 26th, we celebrate the feast day of Saints Timothy and Titus. Early disciples of the Catholic Church, close companions of the Apostle Paul and bishops of the Catholic Church in its earliest days. Saint Timothy was born in Listeria, the son of a Greek father and a Jewish mother. Being a product of a mixed marriage, he was considered illegitimate by the Jews. Upon, upon Saint Paul's first visit to Lucania, Timothy was just a child, but his mother Eusini and grandmother Lois, whose faith Paul commends, converted to Christianity. Upon Paul's second return, approximately seven years later, Timothy, now a young man, followed him, becoming a disciple, confident and friend. Timothy was Paul's dearest disciple, his most steadfast associate. Timothy, known for a gentle dis disposition, was the dis dis <clears throat> disciple whom Paul relied upon to smooth out hard feelings and restore faith in angered Jewish communities. He was made Bishop of Ephesus, where he was stoned to death, martyred for opposing the pagan festival in honor of Diana. Like Saint Timothy, Saint Titus was chosen was close friend of Saint Paul and accompanied him on many of his missionary works, works journeys. He was born into a pagan family. According to the traditional, Titus journeyed to Jerusalem and witnessed the, the preaching of Christ during the Lord's ministry of, on earth. Only later, however, after the conver conversion of St. Paul and the beginning of his ministry, did Titus receive baptism from the apostle who called the pagan convert his true child in our common faith. Unlike St. Timothy, T Titus was known as a firm and somewhat fear-inspiring disciple of Paul. Send not to smooth over difficulties, but deliver difficult news and inspire faith to represent. After, an, after the end of Paul's first imprisonment in Rome, the apostle ordained Titus as a bishop of Crete. Unlike St. Timothy, St. Titus was not martyred by, but died peacefully in old age. Saints Timothy and Titus, pray for us.